in the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Praise be to God, Lord of the universe. O people of the scripture, let us come to a logical agreement between us and you that we shall not worship except God, that we never idolize any human beings beside God. If you turn away, then bear witness that we are submitters. Bear witness that we submit only to the Lord of the universe, the creator of all things. O children of Adam, the Lord our God is one Lord. Not two lords, not three lords, not one-third or two-third, one absolute deity. The Lord, our God, is one Lord. And then we must love the Lord, our God, with all our hearts, with all our minds, with all our soul, and with all our strength. This is the first commandment. If anyone's first commandment is wrong, nothing can be right. You cannot build buildings upon no foundation. The foundation is God and nothing else. The Almighty, the Omnipotent Lord of the universe. O people of the scripture, our God is one and the same. We don't have different gods. There is no other God beside God. Those who are tearing us into pieces between religions, sects, and denominations do not belong with God. They do belong with the opposition. They do belong with Satan. And the wrath of God is upon Satan. Surely those who listen to my words and believe in God who sent me, they shall have everlasting life. They shall not come into condemnation, but they shall pass from death to life. I deliver to you the messages of my Lord and I advise you America and I know from God what you do not know. I'm just a mailman. Usually God's messengers become a big deal after they are gone. When, but during their lifetime not so much. If Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Mary, the Messiah, was as glamorous and as distinguished as the church, the churches portray him to be, then a lot of people should have believed with him. But then what happened? When they took him to crucify his body, who were the only two that were standing next to the cross? One, his was, one, one was his mother, and the other one was his wife. At this point, I should point out that those who think Mary Omne, Jesus' wife, God forbid, was a prostitute. They're going to go to hell for it. She was a dignified lady. She was an honorable lady attributing such a nonsense to a righteous lady is a gross sin. 
and they will be punished by Almighty God. Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Mary, was indeed born of a virgin. It is God's will that I am the person who can go before any panel of intelligent scientists and prove that Jesus was actually born of a virgin. But we know all the nonsense that during that, those days they attributed to Mary and they called them all kind of names and some still do. It is God's will that I am delivering the messages of my Lord. And I know from God what you do not know. It's not that I believe in these things. I truly know these things. Praise be to God. Jesus was indeed the Messiah. Who was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. They received him not. I deliver to you the messages of my Lord, America. You are, this country is the chosen country of our time. I was not born in here. It is God's will that I came to the United States. It is God's will that I am a citizen of the United States. And I thank God for it. I know the future is going to be awesome. The future is going to be bright. The future is going to be great. This nation shall become a nation under God and the visible for all. This nation is going to shine like you have never seen it shine. Good days are ahead, but there are huge responsibilities. God's final message to the world was decoded in the United States of America. If this country is the great Satan, as some claim, so how come the miracle of the Quran was revealed in the United States? Almighty God in the Quran says that he has not given, he has not even given one-tenth of the miracle in the Quran to all the previous messengers. It is God's will that I know that those who call themselves Jewish these days are not the chosen people of our time. Their ancestors at one time were. In a way, they were a guinea pig. God used them. God blessed them so many times and so much. But they violated God's laws. They did not appreciate God's blessings. I will talk about these things extensively. God willing, in the future. But one thing is to be known as certain that Almighty God says, surely those who are Jewish, the Christians, and the converts, anyone, anyone who believes in God, the real God, the creator of all things, not the God of a, creation of man, not the God of the church or the synagogue or the mosque or the temple, the real God, the universal God, who happened to be one and the same for all of us. Surely those who believe in God, believes in, believe in the hereafter and lead a righteous life, 
will receive their recompense from the Lord. They have nothing to fear, nor shall they grieve. It doesn't matter what you want to call yourself. Jewish, Christian, if you really believe in God, the real God, and believe that this life is not it, this is just the short stop on this planet. This planet Earth is a rehab center, is a rehabilitation center. It is God's blessing, is a God's gift that we are sent down in here to redeem ourselves, God willing. If we become certain about the hereafter, that there is the beginning of eternity after we are out of our biological container, our cocoon. And then if we lead a righteous life, God says, there is no grief, there is no, no, no fear, no grief. So it doesn't matter what you want to call yourself. If you do these three things, you are going to be saved, God willing. If you go to Deuteronomy, the fifth book in the Old Testament, chapter 6, verses 4 and 5, it says here, O Israel, Listen up, give ears, Israel. The Lord our God is one Lord. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your strength. This is the first commandment. If you go to Mark, chapter 12, verses 29 and 30, there are a lot of people around Jesus and they realize that he knows the scripture. So they say, okay, tell, tell us, tell us, what is the first of all the commandments? And he said, here, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your strength. This is the first commandment. If anyone loves God with all his heart, her heart, mind, soul, and strength, that person is going to make it. At this point, I have to make two points clear. Here in America, a lot of people, they think the word Allah refers to something other than God. I have heard some of these radio talk show hosts ridic ridiculing, mocking, out of ignorance, they think Allah is a different God. Well, the Christian Arabs and the Jewish Arabs also say Allah. In English, we say G-O-D, God. In Arabic, we say Allah, Alef, Lam, Lam, He. In Farsi, my language, we say Khuda. In Spanish, they say Dios, the same Almighty God, but these are different languages, not the different gods, but different languages. Another matter that needs to be clarified is the word Muslim and the word Islam. Muslim means submitter to God. It's not just a name, it's not a label that somebody is going to wear. That is related to one's soul, the real person. If, if a person truly submits to God, and does what God Almighty says do, and stay away from those things that God says do not, that person becomes a Muslim. In English, we call it submitter. And the religion, the name of the religion is Islam, means submission. Submission to one absolute deity. Actually, it was Abraham who coined the name submission. In chapter 22 in the Quran, verse 78, Abraham was the one who called us submitters. And Abraham was before 
Moses was and before Jesus was and before Muhammad was. So, but then yet, some evildoers, those who have abandoned the teachings of the Quran and they are following satanic writings in chapter 25 verse number 30 in the day of resurrection Muhammad is going to say my God my my Lord my people have abandoned this Quran they're following their own nonsense that's why they are so divided those who in the name of Islam have done totally things that are un-Islamic. They have put such a bad name in this religion that nobody wants to uh, even look at it. So the question is that uh, when I talk to my friends here in America, my people in America, I ask them, look, do you love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your strength? They say, yes. I said, do you submit to the Lord of the universe? Do you know that God is above all things? They say, yes. Well, I said, or oh, you're a Muslim. But you don't know, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's not what we say it is what we do God holds us responsible for our true intentions I will God willing talk about these things extensively at different times to be able to focus on different issues God willing I will bring some facts out, irrefutable, verifiable, that the Qur'an is without a doubt a revelation from the Lord of the universe. I will introduce facts that proves this United States of America was based on this foundation that was to be a nation under God, indivisible for all. God Almighty says, I will show them my signs. This is in Surah, in chapter 41, verse number 53. Almighty God says, I will show them my signs in the horizons and within themselves until they realize that this is the truth, that this Qur'an is the truth. Is your Lord not sufficient as a witness of all things? That's the last statement. I say, yes, my Lord is sufficient as a witness of all things. I have absolutely no doubt that the United States of America is going to submit to the Lord of the universe. I have absolutely no doubt that this nation is going to rise, this nation is going to shine, this nation is going to be whole, truly, in the name of God. God has left so many signs inside of America that all point at the Quran, that this nation is the nation that is going to have the Quran, embrace the Quran. A lot, a lot of the nonsense that you hear here and there about Quran is not from the Quran. There is no contradiction in the in verses of the Quran. The essence of this scripture is our straightforward verses. My duty is to tell America, America, you've been blessed. 
You keep on saying, God bless America, God bless America. Guys, you've been blessed. The sealed book in Isaiah 29, 11 has been decoded in the United States of America. This country is the chosen country of our time. We do a lot of wrong things here in America. We do it here, there, and everywhere. But things are going to be corrected, God willing. Some people in here talk about uh, Obama, and they say he's a Muslim. Well, like I said earlier, if someone worships God Almighty with all his or her heart, mind, and soul, and strength, is a Muslim, is a submitter to God. I know, praise be to God, who Obama is. I will speak about this man extensively. And I will produce evidences, irrefutable, to show that the presidency of this man is in accordance with God's will. Am I saying that he's doing everything right? No, I'm not. Am I saying or demo, the Democrats are good? No, I'm not. The Republicans are not good either. Actually, those who are tearing up this country between the blue states and red states do not deserve to be citizens of this great nation. This is not the land of the red or the blue. This is the red, white, and blue. You take that white color off of the flag of the United States, what do you have? A, a red flag with a corner of it being blue. But with that white in it, you have 50 stars and then seven red stripes. I will speak about these things extensively, God willing. 57. And the Quran is mentioned in the Quran 57 times. If you want to add those six white stripes, you get 63. And Muhammad, the seal of the prophets, lived 63 years. The flag of the United States stands for the word of God. Glory is to God. Everything in this country has already been written. I show evidences and proofs in America, in your monuments. That 114 is written all over it. And 114 is the number of the chapters of the Quran. The book that was decoded in the United States of America. America, good days are ahead. A lot of people here in America are totally oblivious of all these disasters here and there and everywhere. One of these disasters is the financial disaster. Some people think oh, now if Obama goes and someone else is going to come, this problem is going to go away. People, you need to know the truth. Nobody is going to fix this economy. This is a plague upon this nation. And a lot of people who have lost God altogether. On a dollar bill you put down in God we trust. When this awesome statement must be in your souls, in your minds, in the White House, in the Congress of the United States, in the Supreme Court of the United States, in the offices, in the doctor's buildings, in the attorney's building, in your heart, in your home. You put it on a dollar bill, and dollar bill is your God now. In a mighty dollar, people believe. They value people on the basis of the size of the dollar bill that they have accumulated. Am I saying there is anything wrong with money? No. But when we are selling ourselves to the riches of this world, that's why we are in trouble. I will, God willing, speak about these things extensively. This United States of America is to be a nation under God, indivisible for all. 
If you study the history of empires, all those empires, when the when the leaders of society, empires, doesn't matter what size, when they reached the heights of arrogance that they wanted to compete with God, they wanted to be the omnipotent, omniscient, omri, omnipresent in every aspect of the lives of their people, they crumbled. God willing, I'll be speaking about these things extensively. We are in trouble. The world is in trouble. God does not love the warmongers. I will speak about these things extensively. God loves the peacemakers. Almighty God, uh, I will speak about this specific verse, but Almighty God in the Quran says about a particular people, every time they ignite the flame of war, God is the one who puts it out. America. I'm a very insignificant human being, but it is God's will that I have come from the east to the west. I have proofs that I can produce. I'm not asking anyone for anything. Praise be to God. He takes care of me. My needs are very limited. I don't need anything from anybody. I'm just delivering the message. I'm saying, America, wake up. The time has come. It is God's will that we must not accept any information unless we verify it for ourselves. God says he has given us the hearing, the eyesight, and the brain, and we are responsible for using them. So nobody is here telling you believe things that I say. I say verify. Authenticate. You don't hear these things in churches, synagogues, mosques, and the temples. All you hear is that they say they believe. You got to believe. Well, I say to you, don't. Check it out. Ask for proof. Everybody is claiming that they got the religion. Oh, we're saved. Oh, God is on our side. Oh, we're chosen. Got a news for you all. You're wrong, wrong, and wrong. God Almighty says the best among you, the best among you in the sight of God is the most righteous. And righteousness. Surely I say to you, unless you're righteous, unless you become righteous, you will not be able to achieve kingdom of God. Back to what I was saying to America. I'm going to ask you to please go and read Isaiah 21, 29, verses 11, 12, 13, and 14. God says, and I know for a fact that God is talking about America and our time that America has turned to nothing but a lip service about God, consumed by money and sex, deviations of all kinds. America is going down the drain. But I have a good news for you. This is not going to happen. America Good days are ahead. America, rise and shine. America, listen to the word of God. Be grateful, for God has chosen this country. Praise be to God, Lord of the universe.